Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel for your second video of this Monday. If you want to see the latest Chelsea news, link to that video in the description or somewhere on the screen. As a card, click the i button, subscribe to GBFC and hit the like button if you enjoy what we're doing here on the channel. In this video today, my thoughts on Mason Mount at Chelsea Football Club. It is a massive talking point at the moment. It's been, I've got a sneeze coming everybody, hang on. <coughs> it's been a massive talking point at Chelsea Football Club for a couple of years since Mason Mount was offered a contract during the Roman Abramovich regime. Now we're going to take a look at what is being said about Mason Mount here and then I'm going to talk a bit about how Chelsea have won three games in a row without Mason Mount and we can speculate and discuss whether or not Mount was left out by Graham Potter at the weekend with pressure from Todd Bowley and those above Graham Potter at the club because if he's not going to sign a new deal, why would you play him? If Mount is going to be leaving Chelsea in the summer, why would you include him in the plans for now and the rest of the season when Graham Potter is trying to build on his project for the long-term future of Chelsea Football Club? Now, we're going to look at a couple of tweets here, first of all. To give us a little bit of context, of course, a lot of what is reported is also heavily opinionated, but this tweet from Absolute Chelsea via C345Sam. Mason Mount was left out of Chelsea's squad to face Leicester City on Saturday, despite being described to be fully fit. This is interesting. Being told that Mason Mount was left out of yesterday's squad, the player described as fully fit, possibilities of Mason not signing a new contract could have played a factor in Graham Potter's decision to leave him out of the side that beat Leicester yesterday afternoon. Now, this is from the Blue Dodgers via Matt Hughes. Mason Mount has missed out on £10 million so far. Astronomical sum of money. As a result of not signing a new contract, and the situation remains deadlocked with Manchester United, Liverpool and Newcastle monitoring closely. Chelsea's latest offer to Mount was around £170,000, which was similar to what he was offered under Roman Abramovich's regime two years ago. This is obviously where the missed £10 million come from. Had Mount signed that deal, he would have been in a position to negotiate a renewal on increased terms this summer. Now, Mason Mount didn't accept that contract two years ago. This is no longer a valid concern. It's It could be a reason why we're not seeing him sign a new deal now, because Mount may see the trajectory of his career away from Chelsea Football Club. There is also, because of the signings of Enzo Fernandez, Mason Mount could be looking and thinking, well, am I going to be the mainstay midfielder at this club? At the moment, Graham Potter's got a big decision to make here, and maybe the future of Mason Mount could depend on this decision. I'm going to talk about that big decision for Graham Potter in tomorrow's video, where we've got to really look at this summer Chelsea, if Mason Mount leaves, does it mean we need to buy two midfielders? There are rumours that Gallagher could also be leaving as well. Ruben Loftus-Cheek is also rumoured to be one of those players who could be leaving the club this summer. So as much as, at the moment, Chelsea have got a bloated squad and we're trying to narrow those numbers down so that we don't have too many players, at the same time, we've got to be careful that we don't lose so many players that we're very low on numbers in certain positions. So... With Mason Mount currently being left out of the squad on Saturday, Graham Potter led us to believe that he wasn't fully fit. And since then, talks are that Mason Mount was fully fit, which would lead us to make the assumption that there could be pressure from above, from those Bowley, Badadig Bali, these people above, don't include Mason Mount in the squad when we've already got a bloated squad and he's not signing a new deal, so he's going to be leaving the club in the summer. I think the reason Mason Mount has not signed a new deal, there's been a lot of rumours that he wanted 300 grand a week. And at the same time, there's been a lot of people shutting that rumour down. When we look at the two figures, £300,000 and £170,000, the disparity between these two is alarming. There's 130 grand in there, the, in somewhere in between there, there probably is a magic number to get Mason Mount to sign a new deal at Chelsea. So if anything is true in the 300 grand, it's a bit too much, considering Reese James has just signed a new deal around the 170k mark. 
Chelsea see him along the same kind of category of player with importance in the squad to warrant having a similar wage to Reese James. And I think, realistically, if I give my opinion, I think this is a fair wage in the current footballing market for a player like Mason Mount. You've also... The reason that this becomes such a big thing is because, for whatever reason, Mason Mount is a player who divides opinion on a massive scale. Some people have never liked Mason Mount. Some people have recently decided to not like Mason Mount because he's been going through a period of bad form. Let me give my opinions on this because there's no doubt in my mind that the Mason Mount we saw win the Champions League for Chelsea and at Chelsea is a significantly better version of the player that we have seen for the last 12 months. That is absolutely undeniable. Mason Mount is no longer a teenager where we're only talking about potential. When a player has a glow up, let's say for want of a better term, at such an early stage within his professional career, at a club the size of Chelsea, getting into the England squad, being a mainstay under Southgate as well. When a player sets these kind of standards from a young age, that ceiling becomes, in our minds, significantly higher than other players that might be breaking through onto the scene of the same age and same quality. Now, with Mason Mount, because the drop-off has been significant, that is elevated even more in terms of the amplification of people's opinions, be that on social media, or even if we look at the black and white, which is Chelsea have not had Mount in the team for the last three games, and we seem to have won all three of those games, so the questions start to come, do Chelsea even need Mason Mount? The one thing I will say on this is Chelsea's position is pretty clear. If Mason Mount doesn't want to sign a new deal to lock him into being at Chelsea for a long time, then he will be sold this summer, because Chelsea, under this new ownership, we are not going to let players run down their contracts when their market value is so high. Right now, Chelsea probably won't get the same fee, that they would have got for Mount a year ago. For two reasons. A, his contract runs out next summer so he can leave for free. And whenever players have a year left, their price is lower than if there was two, three, four, five, six plus years on their contract left. And the performances in the last 12 months have seen a deterioration and decline in the output levels that Mason Mount has been showing. So Chelsea are in a position where if Mount isn't going to sign that new deal, we are going to sell him. And similarly to what I said in the news video earlier, I don't like the idea of Chelsea selling top players to rivals. When you look at United, Liverpool, Newcastle, Mason Mount walks in, in my opinion, to the starting eleven to all three of those teams, three teams that Chelsea are going to be competing with for not just titles, but European football, which is so incredibly valuable. Over the upcoming years, the next five years will be the best five years of Mason Mount's career. And I don't think it is as bleak and peak as people are saying that Mount peaked too early. We're not going to see Mason Mount hit those levels again in the future. I really do think it is just a poor patch of form. And since recent times where Mount, we were led to believe, wanted to stay at Chelsea, but the club and him couldn't come to an agreement on the numbers. And now... We're starting to hear rumours that it's because now if he's not signing that new deal, Chelsea just want to freeze him out and Graham Potter's not going to pick him. This doesn't give any benefit to Chelsea. It doesn't give any benefit to Mason Mount improving his form if things like this are being reported and going around. I can understand it. No one's bigger than the club. At the end of the day, if Mount wants to leave, it makes sense when you've got players like Enzo coming in. You've got a nearly full fit of health in the squad now, full bill of health then Chelsea are winning games, Mount doesn't get in the team. It's as simple as that. I've said it here on the channel many times. I do believe that football is a meritocracy, especially when you're trying to go from such a bad period and transition that into consistent good results. You keep picking the players that are performing. You keep picking the players that are winning you football matches. And unfortunately, if Chelsea are going to also go back to a three-at-the-back system, it leaves us with two central midfielders, Enzo Fernandez. So far, Mateo Kovacic looks good. N'Golo Kante coming back fit. Where does Mount fit into this team? At the moment, I don't see it. So as much as it will be debated that Potter left him out because he's being told to leave him out from above because he wants to go, whatever. In my opinion, at this point, it's whatever. Mason Mount right now does not get into the Chelsea starting eleven. 
that is black and white for me at this point. But I still want him to sign a new deal. I still think he's got a big part to play in Chelsea's future. I do believe there will be a time where Graham Potter tries everything to implement a fluid 4-3-3 formation with two number eights and a number six. And I think Mount will absolutely thrive if we ever get to that position. But at the minute, three at the back, it's just working. How does Mount get back into this team? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. To wrap up my final thoughts, I think Mount is going to be sold in the summer. And I think Chelsea are left with no choice. If he's not signing a new contract, he's got to be sold. Because there's still market value and we can't afford to let him go for free. He's a homegrown player. It's pure profit for Chelsea. We have to sell him if he doesn't sign a new deal. But I think I'd like him to sign a new deal because I still think there is a world-class player in there. And it's just about getting the best out of him again. And every player during their career, unless your name is Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, goes through a spell where they're not quite as good as what we were first led to believe. And then all of a sudden, we're reminded of it again. Only takes a good game. That's just the way football works. Just look at my opinions on Graham Potter in the last few weeks. And on that note gonna wrap this video up here if you did enjoy it hit the like button let me know your thoughts on the future of mason mount in the comments down below come on you blues